Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. If you walk through tall grass or a wooded area right now, chances are you might pick up an insect hitchhiker. Oh, yeah. Ticks and mosquitoes are already out for blood right now. But Galen Culver has the story of a growing Oklahoma company and their wearable solution. Do you feel pretty protected? I feel very protected. A walk in the woods with someone like Brooks Pollard might not ordinarily look like this. We're, we're demoing here, but... Full disclosure, he's wearing these outer garments for us, since he's actually a model for the Oklahoma company that makes them. It's so light and breathable and comfortable. Head to toe. Mozzie Style started with two friends, Heather Bowles and Jamie Harrison, in 2016, when the Zika virus was making headlines. So that was scary. Their search for wearable solutions didn't locate anything outside the hunting and outdoor gear realm. It would be camo. Which is how Mozzie Style was born. Some early versions of, you know, our when we were first started, I actually have a whole box of these. What if they thought you could make durable, machine washable, wearable mosquito repelling clothes that actually looked good? And it was really more of a development of how can we make a bubble for somebody to be in right. without it looking like a bubble. It took a while to find the right fabric, but once they did, the ideas kept coming. Hooded jackets, then pants, hats tents for the baby, even blankets for the beach. Their little Oklahoma company grew like ants at a picnic. We started sewing them ourselves, and so we were making them, and we threw up a website, and mm -hmm. we just kept selling out. Back to our walk through the wilds of Logan County, one of us protected, the other blissfully unaware. Argue all you want about who looks better, the model or the cameraman, but it was easy to see a couple of spring ticks on the cuffs of Brooks outerwear. Oh, there's bugs on you. Yeah, that was unexpected. <laughs> yeah. Mozzie style, in this case at least, mostly worked. Near Guthrie, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? That's a cool idea. Heather and Jamie say they sell most of their clothes in Oklahoma to gardeners, but their products are also big sellers where Lyme disease is present. Their next step is to take their products to places where malaria is still a problem. Good idea.